Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to configure Huawei Eco Life EZ8021 V5. So don't wasting any time. Go to the computer screen. Initially, we can connect the router by the LAN cable to the computer or Wi-Fi. Here, I have connected the router LAN interface to the computer with LAN cable. In this router, you will see two LAN port, so you can connect any of this to the computer. Now it's time to configure computer LAN interface with an IP address. You will see a sticker under the router and you see the router default IP address so we configure our computer LAN interface from same subnet. So now we will configure our computer LAN interface so that we can access this router over the web. First we go to open network and internet settings. Then we go to ethernet then change adapter option. Here we can see local area connection then click on it and go to property then go to internet protocol version 4 and go to property here uh, we can configure in two method uh, one is dhcp mode which uh, collect ip from wi-fi router automatically and then another is we can input ip address in this interface so I uh, configure I will configure it with an IP address of 192.168.18.10 and subnet mark 255.255.255.0 then click on ok and close all the tabs and go open uh, my browser and search here 192.168.18.1 which is default IP address of the uh, router uh, also called default gateway of this router and hit enter. The login page is pop up and we need to provide username and password which is EP admin is capital letter and password is admin EP here E also capital letter. I shown it and will put on the description box in this video. So main page is uh, coming in front in front of and uh, we uh, go to the advanced option then when and click on new new tab and here uh, we configure our router as a PPPUE and protocol type IPv4 when mode route when service type internet and uh, here uh, we see an uh, an advanced option which is enable vlan so if we uh, tick on this box we can put the vlan id if we have so i uh, don't any vlan id i don't have any vlan id and i also untick the uh, checkbox and here is the ip4 information and i also uh, as i configure my router as pppoe so i uh, select pppoe uh, enable net enable net box is tick mark and keep the configuration same as it is Yes, so here we have to uh, uh, put the username and password which is provided from ISP and username I uh, insert take Bing and password. Now we have to select the WAN port which port is acting 
as when mode as when port so now go to maintenance diagnosis and go to upstream port here you see three ports which is optical LAN 1 and LAN 2 I select optical as upstream port and click on apply so here uh, comes a message the new configuration takes effect after a device restart are you sure to submit and restart the device then I click ok now we need to configure LAN now login into the router go to advance then go to LAN tab here you will see layer 2 and layer 3 port configuration you can enable both LAN port as layer 2 and 3 port now go to the LAN host here you will see the primary address and secondary address you should uncheck the secondary at secondary address that means enable secondary address then click on apply then go to DCP server you can keep the configuration same as it is and uncheck secondary DCP server then click on apply after that you need to enter WLAN which is Wi-Fi configuration and you should enter name then WPA pre-shared key that means Wi-Fi password then click on apply now it's time to save configuration so go to home page then go to advanced option then go to maintenance diagnosis then go to configuration file and here we simply keep click on save button then ok and our configuration is saved so this point is very advanced so you have many features in this router so you can uh, check uh, many options for this you go to uh, system information then you will see optical information service provisioning status etherport status wi-fi status home network status how many ap connected to your router and last user device information how many device are connected to this router now we will check our internet connectivity so go to maintenance diagnosis then maintenance and uh, here ping test target addresses google dns 8.8.8 .8 .8. then click on start we are waiting for confirmation and our testing result is coming ping statistics four packet transmitted four packet received and zero percent packet lost so this result is telling us we are successfully communicate to the internet and our configuration is successfully done thank you for watching my video please like comment and subscribe my channel